Welcome back, everyone. Uh, once again, we want to let you know that in just a moment, we may be going to network coverage of the situation going in the Middle East. Uh, you may be seeing Tom Brokaw in just a few minutes. want to let you know, though, in the meantime, mm -hmm. here right here on NBC2 News at noon, we are happy to show you quite an invention today developed right here in Southwest Florida in Naples, in fact. It's called a VDA unit. It's a little handheld LCD screen that provides real-time video, among other features. Now, to explain how it works, joining us is Harry Romano from IMRC Technology. He's the CEO of IMRC, as he mentioned before. Harry, now, you and I had a chance to spend some time together, and I'm a dummy when it comes to this stuff, but basically, we're talking about a handheld unit that provides audio, video, it has a camera, and it can also do what else? Well, it's, um, it's called a VDA unit, yeah. and the name VDA was made because it does video, data, and audio. All three. All three. It'll do live color video, 30 frames per second. Mm -hmm. It'll do 20 megabits of data transfer, and we have patents that, that go up to 100 megabits of data transfer, which makes it the fastest handheld digital transceiver in the world. Now, for people at home who may be like myself and not really get what you're saying, Explain this. It's like a television. Is it like a television, or is it like a, a video phone? Is it all of this in one? It's like just what, it's all of that in one. It has uh, multiple uses across the board. It um, you can do video conferencing, wireless networking. Um, you can simply use it as a video walkie-talkie to show your friend in another area what you know what's exa what's happening mm -hmm. oh wow yeah, okay see, so it's got a little okay. camera on it T tilt the camera up uh, yeah. well, the stand maybe here we go we can just so, do that oh, there you go. very good Beautiful. so it's taking a picture now, of us yes if you'll notice it's it's real time it's not a uh, jerky you know digital picture right like actual. we see up in space when or even on a computer sometimes you see that it's, moving funny. it's funny you mentioned that i went over to nasa with these units mm -hmm. to a joint council meeting and they came up with all kinds of good uses it would be a great thing to use in the space shuttle or the uh -huh. space station. Mm -hmm. You can use it around your home. Ch children can use it. You know, you talk to your friends, uh, call your boyfriend up. Uh, there's just uh, that is amazing. a million and one uses. Let's do that demonstration we talked sure. about earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my microphone off, okay? This is my wireless microphone that we use here at the station. I use it when I do the weather and everything. I'm going to take this off. So that now we want to keep my microphone on, keep it on, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave and leave my microphone right here. So the only way you'll be able to hear me is through the VDA unit. Yes. So here we go. I'm going to push the button. Here we go. Yep. Now, see, so you can hear me because I'm talking through the VDA unit, and you can also see me as I'm walking around the studio. Uh huh. This is real-time video, real-time data, and again, the only way you can hear me is through that wireless microphone that we have there on the set. I'm in the back of the studio right now, walking back toward the weather area. And again, we should wow. mention, Harry, you told me this earlier, we have so much equipment in here that maybe there's a little bit of interference that there wouldn't normally be at somebody's house. Is exactly. that right? Yes. Yes. There we go. These are, these are simply prototype units. And if you can see, I mean, you can't see Jim's whole body, but there are no wires and nothing is hooked to him, which is amazing to me. Would it be all right if I turn this and show him where Jim is? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, hey. If you'll notice, there's there's Jim over there. Say hey, Seth, we're going to network. Okay, we're going to hey. go right now to Tom Tom Brokaw for more on that situation in the Middle East. But we'll be right back. Stay with us. And welcome back to our coverage of NBC2 News at Noon. Uh, joining us again, for those of you that weren't with us about 10, 15 minutes ago, Harry Romano. He's the CEO of IMRC Technology. And these basically, we did a demonstration mm -hmm. a couple of minutes ago, are handheld units that go ahead and transmit video, audio, as well as computer data. Yes. Is that correct? And you can see, as you look at the, the unit that's in front of Harry there, that this camera that I'm playing with right now is being transmitted wireless. I mean, this is a wireless camera that's going really to that wireless. unit, and this is there you go. the only kind, this is the only unit of its kind, really, in the world. In the world, yes. It's the fastest in the world. I suppose I should smile since I'm on camera here, but I'm just so <laughs> amazed by the technology that we have here. Now, these are prototypes we should mention. Yes. So they look a little bulky because yes. it's, it, you know, you're an inventor. This is still something you're kind of working on, even though you have the technology pretty much done. Yes, yeah. we have the, the internals finished and we know how we want it to make it. Um, now we get, need to put it in a pretty case. Scale and all it down and make it pretty it right. There was one company, uh, I guess Cosera, came out with a cell phone, yeah. but it was four frames per second. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's very slow and, you know, it's jerky again. Whereas this is, is full, it's just like television. Yeah, just like television. I'm putting you on there. So uh, you're saying that I could talk to someone, say, in another state. Yes. See them real time. 
Yes. That's amazing. There are a million questions we can ask you, and there are a lot of people that are smarter than Heather and I combined that probably have questions for you, because obviously you're a very <laughs> intelligent man. But give me your phone number, because I'm sure there are a lot of people that would be interested in getting more information about how they can get on board with this as a business, as a company, maybe as an investor. The, the phone number is up on the screen right now. What should people do if they're interested? Well, s simply call our office mm -hmm. and um, tell, tell the, uh, the, the secretary that you'd like to be put on a list to obtain the first VDA units that come out. Um, we would also uh, entertain anybody who's uh, looking at it at a, in an investment um, arena mm -hmm. to uh, contact me directly, and uh, I'd be happy to talk with them. Okay, once again, the phone number, you saw it right there, and there you see the lovely face of Heather Turco. Well, he, he's uh, really VDA zoomed unit. down on it there. Boy, that's really high quality. That's really, that very impressive. That is amazing. Impressive. It really is. Harry, I wish we had more time. We could do a whole hour segment on you. And hopefully you'll come back here sometime in the next couple of months to maybe give us an update and, and show us how yeah, things are progressing. Yeah, you could be looking at the next Bill Gates. You don't oh, know. <laughs> you don't know. We're right here in Southwest Florida. Harry, do thanks. Thanks for coming by. I'd like to by. thank you um, and Samantha for having me on the show. Thank very, you very much. Please very come back sometime soon, man. Seriously. I would love to. All right. We'll be right back. Stay with us.